Antonio Hyde. Hey. Is it still the same? The squad's the same, just Lucas Mora out for Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same. Only Luca is not available. The other players are all available for the Leicester game. Eric Dyer, yeah. back in the England squad. Many will say well deserved. I just want to hear from you on Eric Dyer. You inherited him. He's a big part of your squad, isn't he? And he played a big part in this club getting back into the top four last season. How proud are you of him? And just tell us more about Eric Dyer under your management. First, uh, first of all, uh, I'm I'm really pleased because uh, um, when my players, uh, uh, the national team call call my players, and uh, uh, we are really proud because uh, it means that we are working very well, uh, um, and uh, we are trying to to help no the players to to go with the national team. In this case, for Eric was uh, a really good achievement for him but what I can uh, I can only tell him that he had to be a, a point of start that he has to to gain the possibility to go uh, at the World Cup um, especially in this uh, in this month and half that we have uh, before the, the World Cup, to continue to to play well, to have a good performance, to show that uh, he has a really good stability, that he is a real reliable player. And um, only what I can tell him uh, is only this: to continue this way, to continue to work, uh, to work hard, and to have this uh, this constant this concentration no? and uh, for the rest I think uh, um, my staff and I but uh, the teammates are very happy for uh, for this call uh, in the national team. After Tuesday did the players know just how disappointed you were with them but also is there a bit of a realisation here a year ago this club were in the conference league they're now in the Champions League do, do people have to remember that too? No, I, I think I think that uh, uh, we need we need to be disappointed, uh, but not. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm into the people that uh, are to be disappointed uh, and uh, with uh, with with the players uh, because uh, uh, the final result was a negative result for us. I think that uh, especially I I watched the game, the game, and I think that we lost uh, a big chance. Not only to draw, but to get three points. And when happened this type of situation, and uh, you had to be a bit uh, upset because uh, when you have the possibility to uh, to get three points, you have to do, you have to do it. Then we are talking about a loss in the last two minutes. For this reason, we have to be upset, me, the players, and uh, and, and the club. But. Uh, you know, you know, football is a, a good experience. Don't forget uh, last season uh, and uh, in uh, all games in Europe we lost against Pacos Ferreira, against Vitesse, against Mura, and then we do against Rennes. But we risk a lot also to to lose against Rennes. It means that maybe we have to do something more in the future. Especially because now we are in Champions League. Before we were in, Ch in, Confidence, in Confidence League. I think we did uh, a really good step, an important step forward. But now we have to show that uh, we decided to stay there. Thanks, Michael. Alex. Hi, Tony. Hey. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How important is it to see a reaction from your players on Saturday? And what do you want to see from them that you didn't see from them in this game? But uh, you know very well that uh, uh, you have to try in every game to uh, yeah, to get a win. This has to be our our mentality, and for this reason, you have to understand that when we lose, um, oh, we are totally in the opposite uh, uh, side. And for this reason, I think that uh, we have to feel. Uh, we need to be a bit uh, uh, angry and to try to have a good reaction because uh, and now we have the possibility to play another game in the in Premier League. 
for us it's important to get a win but at the same time you know that you are you're going to play against Leicester that the table in this moment uh, for me is not fair for, for them because we are talking about a really good team, a really good squad. We are talking about Brendan Rogers, that is a really good manager that won in his career. And uh, for this reason, we have to pay great attention. Leicester yet to win this season, as you say, bottom of the league. How much more wary do you have to be of a side that's desperate for those three points? When you play against Leicester, and um, Leicester, I think that uh, in uh, in England uh, they became a, a good team, a, a, a difficult team to play. Don't forget that uh, they won uh, in uh, a Premier League with Claudio Ranieri. They won FA Cup maybe two years ago, three years ago, the Community Shield against Manchester City. We are talking a, a, a club that in the, last, in the last seven years, they won. They won something in England. It means that we are talking about a really good club, a really good, club, a really good squad, good manager and uh, with great ambition. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Ian? Hi Antonio. Um, just going back to Eric Dyer, obviously you're delighted he's back in yeah. the squad. You play him in a three, Gareth Southgate tends to prefer a four. Is he as comfortable playing as a centre half in a back four as he is in a, a back three that he plays for you for Spurs? But I, I think, I think we, are, we are talking about uh, a player that uh, um, uh, he has a lot of uh, uh, versatile and uh, he's, a, he's a player that he can play um, in the center with a, when you defend a three at the back he can play for the back like central uh, like central defender but at the same time he can play also as a pivot as number four and um, uh, you can see during the game also especially when uh, we are going to, to build up and uh, we use him uh, and uh, he become uh, uh, a midfielder. We are talking uh, about a really, a really good player that, in my opinion, uh, um, he has grown a lot physically, mentally, in his, mi in his mind. And uh, you can see a player that uh, now is, uh, uh, he, know, he, knows, he knows his capacity, is, uh, uh, that uh, is, uh, he, now he's an important player, but as you know very well, football changes quickly <laughs> the situation and uh, he has to continue in this way with his uh, humility and uh, with his, uh, to be humble, to continue to, to work very hard, uh, to continue to have the, the right ambition, the right desire uh, to, to be an important player and uh, it's up on him about this and for me for sure uh, I'll push him uh, <laughs> always always but not only him uh, I, I try to to push every my single player uh, to give uh, uh, more and more and more football does change quickly so on to my question about Hun Min Son who you said was undroppable is he still undroppable because he's not had the greatest start to the season you've got Kulisevsky who wants to play you've got Richarlison who wants to play they are not player undroppable this has to be very clear they are not player undroppable because and uh, if I tell uh, this uh, is only to try to help my players and uh, to try to avoid injuries to try to have a player at the top of the, of the form and to have a good performance <laughs> and if I, I, I'm telling this only only to protect my players and to give them the possibility to be every in every moment at the top. Then you know very well, you can play one game well, another so and so, another you can score, another not. But and uh, my task is to try to protect my player and to, to protect the team and uh, also to to find the right way to have a good result. Don't forget that sometimes when you don't start with some players, it means that. Uh, during the game, you have you have this player into in 
the possibility to use him uh, during, uh, during the game. But I repeat, if we want uh, to, uh, to, to continue to, to play this four competition, especially, especially, I repeat, Champions League, because it's different to play Europa League and Conference League, because Europa League and Conference League can give you the possibility in the group stage to make rotations and then also if you drop a bit of the quality in the start 11 maybe you can win the same in Champions League are always massive game and for this reason I need to have all the players available all my players has to be available for the rotation to be uh, in every moment ready uh, when uh, when uh, I call uh, I call them uh, to uh, to play and to play well uh, uh, for uh, for the team for for the club for the fans for uh, everybody. Thank you. Ali. Hi there, um, just talking there about rotation. I was going to talk about the wing backs. Obviously, on the left you've got Ryan Sefton and even Paris who yeah. play quite a few games each of them. On the right, though, it's only been Emerson starting yeah. every game. I was just wondered, are you still maybe concerned about Matt Doty's fitness at all? Is that yeah. what it's about? No, but I can explain because um, um, I like to be honest, not only with you, but uh, first, of, first of all, with my players. And uh, in this uh, first part of seven games, okay, and uh, uh, don't forget we had uh, players like Matthew that uh, they had a serious injury. And uh, I said in the past that uh, he's uh, struggling a bit to come back the players that uh, I knew last uh, last season. For sure now he's improving a lot. I'm sure I'm sure that now there is the international break. He, he will have the possibility to have uh, two games with the national team. And then uh, when uh, uh, he'll, uh, he will come back and for sure I'm, I'm sure that I have the possibility to have uh, another rotation uh, with, uh, with him. It was the same for Skippy. Because in this period, uh, Skippy was uh, injured, a serious injury, and uh, don't forget Skippy played the last game uh, in January, maybe on December. And uh, uh, about player to, that we have to recover from injury. Then uh, there are players, for example, that Richarlison went into the team quickly, and uh, uh, Lenglet was the same, Perisic was the same, the only player that is struggling a bit on the tactical aspect is Bisuma, but also is improving a lot in every aspect. And I'm sure that when we start again to, to play 12 games, and then uh, for sure I have to, to count about this player. But uh, I try to, uh, to take the best decision for the player, because I want to protect the player. At the same time, I want to protect of the team and uh, every everybody but for sure we know very well uh, when we start again uh, to play 12 games uh, in one month you have to be ready you have to be ready because uh, uh, i need of uh, all uh, all my players just ask about emerson he's not probably a natural wing back like you've had in your teams in the past is he someone you've had to work with on the attacking side but in my opinion, Emerson, uh, um, he had a good start in this season, and um, he can play in this in this position, uh, and um, he's doing well. And uh, I guess, uh, I guess uh, um, in the last game, uh, Sporting Lisbon, uh, he could score three goals, not one, three goals. Uh, yeah, and uh, in every. In every game, uh, he's totally involved. Uh, yeah. Then uh, don't forget Emerson played every game in this period. For sure, now can be a bit tired because uh, the win back. I think that the role is uh, you have to do fatigue <laughs> because you, have to, you become striker when we are going to uh, to attack, and you have to become a defender when we, we are going to, to defend. But I'm really happy about uh, per, uh, Emerson's performance because I think, uh, uh, compared last season, uh, he, uh, he did a good improvement. He has to continue to work and to, to do it. 
the same time, uh, you know that uh, we have also Ivan Perisic that can, can play on the right, on the left, and the Sessegnon is uh, is uh, is fit and is in a good moment of form and. Um, for sure, uh, maybe he's uh, one of the players that in this moment they, they deserve to play, like uh, like Deki. Yeah, but uh, we'll do it with uh, the right time and uh, the right patience and uh, to try to, to do the best for uh, for uh, uh, for our team. Thanks, Ali. We'll finish this section with Charlie, please. Antonio, you mentioned that Masuma has been struggling a little bit in the tactical yeah. aspect. Has that surprised you? Because I think a lot of supporters <coughs> thought, you know, here's a quite expensive, very exciting signing, and they were maybe expecting to see a bit more of him in his first few games. Yeah, it was expensive. Uh, uh, if you compare uh, other midfielders, I have seen that other teams <laughs> spent uh, 60, 70, 50 million. Yeah. Uh, it depends the, 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 the view, no? The view. I think that. Uh, we we spent the right, the right money. Don't forget that we spent a lot of money for players that now they went alone. Huh? Yeah. But it doesn't mean if you spend money and you need to have a player to go into our radio football. There are players that are they do this uh, quickly, like uh, Richardson, like uh, uh, Langley, uh, like Perisic. Okay, and then uh, other player that they need uh, a bit of time also because uh, the midfielder is a specific role for us with the ball, without the ball. It's not simple. I ask uh, some movements, some position. They, 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 they have to be point of reference in every moment of the game. And the midfielder for sure uh, to go into our leader football is maybe the, uh, the most difficult position. Okay, but we are talking a player that uh, has great skills and uh, good run. With the ball is really good. Defensively, he has to pay more attention. Yeah, more attention because, uh, especially because we have only two midfielders, and then uh, they have to be good with the ball and without the ball. But I'm really happy uh, for for this sign. Considered just with the, and sorry, I meant expensive just relative to some of the other signings that come yeah. in. Yeah. one more. But have you considered then, because it is very demanding for those two midfielders playing with a three or, you know, changing things up a little bit in that midfield area? Yeah, but I, I think I think we tried to, to sign a player uh, uh, with, uh, with the right characteristic uh, to play uh, at the start with the two midfielder. Then uh, uh, it happened uh, during the game uh, when. Uh, uh, sometimes when uh, we were uh, winning, okay, to play with the three three midfielders, but um, I, I in the past I played with the two strikers and the three, three midfielders. But this team, when you have a player like Sony, uh, Kruseski, Richarlison, uh, and Kane, I think this uh, the the best system that we can uh, we can play. But I repeat, uh, and it's only. Uh, we need only only a bit of time, and to work with him, and to for him to understand, to understand well. Now we have two two reliable play, player, two important players like uh, Oberg. That for me, he did uh, important progress. Important progress, but now I I think that is a. a, a a really, a really good player, he's a strong player. It was the same for Betancourt. Don't forget Skippy, that is really young, but we are talking about the prospect that for me is always, uh, a, he was been always reliable. And uh, for this reason, I, I, I can't on him. <laughs> he has to be very clear because for me, Skippy <laughs> is an important player also in the midfielder. Again, give me the possibility to, to make rotation. For sure, in the next uh, 12 games, and uh, uh, he can have uh, a better physical condition, and then uh, I can count uh, about him also. And uh, Bisuma, uh, Matthew, uh, yeah, we need uh, about all the players of the squad because uh, we have uh, every game is massive game, and for this reason we need to have energy, energy, energy. 
if we, uh, we think that we have to play with the same players, and we are going to, uh, to have not a good, <laughs> a good result. Yeah.